two of my favorite things to do are surfing the web and relaxing outside. But the signal distance of most routers keeps us inside so that we don't lose our connection. So in this video I'm going to show you how to use an old router to boost your Wi-Fi signal and get you back outside. Before we get started, you should know that this project is for more advanced users. If you're a novice and don't know what you're doing, you could end up ruining your router. So noobs, be warned. Also I'm going to be using a lot of command line terminology, so if you're not familiar with that, then you might have a hard time. And I'm going to be using Ubuntu Linux, so if you want to follow along with exactly what I'm doing, you can download the live CD, which you can find a link in the video description. Or if you're using Windows, there's also a good guide that you can find here, and you can also find that link in the description as well. Ready? Let's get started. First, you need to head over to the main DDWRT page and see if your router is supported. I'm going to be using an ASUS WL520GU router, and the steps that I follow will be for this specific router. Search for your router, download its firmware, and be sure to read and follow the installation instructions for your specific router because installation will be different for each different router. Also, if you don't have TFTP installed, now would be a good time to go ahead and install it. Just open up a command line and type sudo apt-get install TFTP. Once you have that set, go ahead and turn off your wireless so that it doesn't cause any conflicts. Then plug in an Ethernet cable into LAN 1 of your router and the other end into the computer. After the computer recognizes the connection, go to System, Preferences, Network Connections, and then select your Ethernet connection and click Edit. Select the IPv4 tab and choose Manual from the drop-down menu. You want to add a new connection, so set the local IP to 192.168.1.10, the subnet to 255.255.255.0, and the gateway to 192.168.1.1. Next, you'll need to set the router into restore mode by unplugging it and pressing down the recessed black restore button, not the red reset button. Then while still pressing it down, plug the router back in and give it a second to power on. If the power light is blinking, then it's ready and it's in restore mode. Now open up a command terminal and navigate to the desktop where the DDWRT file is by typing CD desktop and hitting enter. Then type TFTP, enter, trace, enter, timeout, one, enter, mode, binary, enter, connect, 192.168.1.1 enter and then type put dd-wrt.v24 underscore mini underscore asus dot trx and when you hit enter it should start loading the ddwrt firmware onto the router when it's through let it wait for five minutes to ensure that it's fully installed then unplug the router and after a few seconds plug it back in and wait another five minutes if you don't wait this amount of time it's possible that we may corrupt and screw up the router once it's fully installed open up a web browser and type 192.168.1.1 which should bring you to the DDWRT settings page it will first have you create a username and password for your router that will only be used when changing router settings. After that, click on the Setup tab and under Basic Setup choose Automatic for the connection type and be sure to enable STP. Then you can optionally enter in a router name and host name. And under Local IP Address, create an IP address that's different from your router. So I'm choosing 192.168.69.1. Keep in mind that the next time you want to access your router, you'll have to type in this new IP address. Now click Apply Settings. Then click on the Security tab and disable or uncheck any security options or firewalls and click Apply Settings. After that, click on the wireless tab and set the wireless mode to repeater. Set the network mode to mixed and set the SSID equal to the name of the wireless connection that you want to repeat. Mine is called Gigafied. 
Then set the configuration to bridged and apply the settings. Under virtual interfaces, click add and under SSID, create a new name for your wireless connection. Enable the SSID broadcast and disable AP isolation and set the configuration to bridged. Apply the settings and now you can unplug your router. Now go ahead and turn your Wi-Fi signal back on and you should be able to see both your original connection and your repeated wireless connection in your wireless networks. So as long as your repeating router can detect the original connection, it will then catch that connection, repeat it, and boost it even further. All right, be sure to check out Tinkernut.com on Tumblr, Facebook, and Twitter. That's it for this tutorial. For more, go to Tinkernut.com.